back since when is the last time you actually decided to actually pick up a grenade launcher? The possible answer would be Yes, I do use it. Two, I don't even use it at all because it, I kind of see it as a cheap weapon at all. Or three, you touch it, you hate it just forever and never touch it again. So in this video, I actually will show you some methods on how to use the weapon more effectively like you do as you see in my gameplays. And two, hopefully you actually serve as a gateway for you to increase your compatibility with other weapons in the game. And at the same time, it actually will allow some fluid gameplay in terms of aiming one particular way from another. However, if you still feel Feel like in your gut that grenade launcher isn't your thing that's okay you can actually take a chance to look back away from this video and not look at this again but if you actually are learning on how to use a grenade launcher effectively and not even use it the way that you see with other players today this video is for you hopefully this video will actually give you some inspiration on how to use the grenade launcher the same way as i do and let's just actually go over some of the basic idea on why to use a grenade launcher from my experiences of using the grenade launcher for quite some time now i actually did came a couple of reasons why to use it and some reasons why not to use it. One possible reason why to use a grenade launcher is actually because of the massive screen shake that actually causes it to your opponents and even if the grenade launcher doesn't actually do any damage, the actual hit register will still register as a hit and at the same time their screen will probably turn around 180 degrees or even 360 if the grenade launcher or even the grenade themselves actually get a hit on them and that kind of screws up with their aim and that's why most majority of the people hate grenade launchers because of those causes and if you're the one causing it, it's going to be really fun for you to mess up your opponents. And at the same time, if you do get a kill with it, you just feel that satisfaction at the point that you could be blowing out almost everyone in the game. And yeah, you actually can have fun with it too if you actually enjoy that particular way. Another reason why to use the grenade launcher is actually because it's probably one of the best area denial tools besides a sniper rifle. And if you actually try to do spawn camp or even try to get a bunch of enemies together without having to aim one by one, this is actually when the grenade launcher comes in handy and you can actually take multiple people at once with either one grenade or even use your grenade launcher to get multiple kills out of that. And I see that much more efficient as compared to sniper rifles as you actually have to take down one by one. But as for grenade launchers, however, you can actually take multiple people down with one bullet or one payload in this case, I actually would be saying. And I find that much more efficient in terms of getting a bunch of people together at once as compared to getting one by one with sniper rifles. And, and if you actually actually don't kill them fast enough, the, the other opponent will actually have a chance to shut you down with almost any weapon they have on the other side and you might actually end up most of the time getting triple team or even team kill in this case. And that's actually a reason why to use a grenade launcher in the first place if you want to get multi kills in a really tight spot. So the actual reasons why not to use a grenade launcher is the fact that the actual weapon itself is actually a projectile rather than a hit scan weapon as majority of the weapons in the game is. And those players who actually are used to hit scan weapon and try to jump into a grenade launcher they're often going to find themselves in the most difficult spot because their aiming is almost completely different and you actually have to readjust the weight on how you aim with a hit scan weapon such as a sniper rifle, assault rifle, and even pistols too as versus the grenade launchers. We actually have to take some time to get from the muzzle from the actual grenade launcher itself to the actual person to try to aim at. And another fact is that the damage won't be always to be consistent as compared to other weapons in the game and this is the fact that there's actually two separate damage points that the grenade launcher has to offer. One is the actual grenade damage itself. That's actually when the explosion might actually catch the person, but that damage itself won't do the full damage that the grenade launcher has to offer. And to get the full damage that the grenade launcher has to offer, however, you're going to actually have to hit them with the actual slug itself onto the actual body to get the full damage. And another disadvantage of using the grenade launcher is you don't really have a way to boost his damage besides using the skill Pyromanic just to boost his damage up by 15%. And since it doesn't have a headshot multiplier, you basically are restrained the way on how much damage you can output with the grenade launcher. So with those actually out of the way, we're actually going to go on to the actual guide on how to use the grenade launcher. And hopefully with this steps, we actually will give you some motivations on trying out the weapon, try to get used to the way how and how it aims. And once you do master it, you can actually do all this freaking explosion stuff and all the fun that you actually see in the video. And if you do master it, you're probably going to end yourself seeing like this for quite some time now. So 
So if you actually want to learn on how to aim with the grenade launcher, you actually have to aim the, the grenade launcher a bit more differently. So most of the time you see in my gameplays, I'm actually using the hip fire rather than the scope or an aim down sight in this case, however. But most of the time, you're actually going to see yourself using the hit more rather than the sight itself. The actual next step is, is actually learning on how each grenade launcher behaves in terms of how fast the grenade goes, how much of an arc goes, and how far the actual grenade can travel before it can actually explode to the other side. The actual grenade launcher I totally recommend if you actually want to start on learning how to use grenade launchers and that actually will be the decimator and that actual trajectory of the weapon is pretty fast and it goes pretty far too and it's probably one of the grenade launchers you can actually feel familiar with as it actually behaves almost the same way as a hit scan weapon does but puts in the form of a projectile weapon rather than a hit scan weapon and that's actually a good weapon to start with your training with if you actually want to learn on how to use grenade launcher and then if you actually want to go a little bit more differently you can actually study on how to use the one shot and it's probably the most damaging grenade launchers out there but it's actually one of the slowest velocity grenade launchers as compared to the destructor but that destructor is almost a completely different animal which actually probably was included in this video as it doesn't behave the same way as the decimator or even the one shot does in terms of its usefulness and I kind of find a light inconsistencies using that grenade launcher but if you do insist using that weapon go ahead I won't stop you from it but in my opinion I wouldn't be using the destructor as much as compared to the decimator or the one shot too. So once you pick your grenade launcher of choice you're gonna actually have to readjust the way you have to aim with the weapon instead of actually targeting your opponent where you want to shoot them at you actually have to play this sort of a prediction game on where they were going to go so for instance in here if i were to shoot this grenader here who's actually in front of me instead of shooting towards him i basically have to predict on where he's going to move and once i actually made my decision on where i think he's going to go that's actually when i actually move my crosshair to the positions i believe he will be moving and shoot my shots there and then if i do hit him i hit him if i don't hit him i'll probably have to do this, this process again until i actually find that right position on where that enemy player would go but there were actually will be times is that when you actually have to land those actual grenade shots onto the opponent themselves and there will be cases that you actually have to aim at touristly at them but you actually have to take account on when the actual grenade itself would hit the opponent and even you actually were to be killed by it and if you actually line everything correctly that grenade will still be traveling towards the opponent and it might kill them it might not kill them but at least you did something to them and if you do kill them because it's probably a way of saying that you kill me I'm taking you with me to my death and I guarantee you that's the most satisfying thing you actually feel because it's sort of like you're being killed with last stand but in this scale however you'd be actually dragging them to the more extreme limits and you actually want to annoy them even more with by doing this as compared to using the skill last stand for tank and another thing you actually have to consider while aiming with the grenade launcher you actually have these two options available for you and that actually will be either you want to try to shoot them directly with the grenade launcher or you can actually shoot at the wall or floor in attempts to use an explosion damage to damage him and this is actually part of the decision process on where you want to take with a grenade launcher so there will be some risk if you actually try to shoot them directly towards your body because if you actually miss your shots you're going to completely miss your chance of dealing damage to them whilst if you're actually shooting the wall you're actually taking some reassurance that you actually be guaranteed some damage but you won't be granted the full damage that the grenade launcher has to offer and this actually comes with your decision making and when those type of situations actually happen here's my one says that when it comes to these type of situations if the opponent is on top of the balcony or roof i would say just shoot for the ceiling and try in attempts of try to poke him out of the position or just annoy them to say like you're not going to stay at that spot if you're above your opponent just as if you're in overhead or wonder dome and you if you're above them i would totally recommend shooting towards at them as you can actually simply the feeling that you're actually playing far from overwatch and you basically barraging a bunch of missiles towards in the ground and it sort of feels the same way and if you're actually a fan of playing far in overwatch you actually won't have that much trouble transitioning from her play style to grenade play style with a grenade launcher and playing almost playing the same way as she does if you're actually in the ground level you can actually go into the decision of try to go for the direct hit itself on the opponents or you can actually use the environmental kills such as shooting the walls or the poles or 
columns or even windows too to get some damage out of them those decisions in the ground level is actually up to you as a player and yeah that's actually my two cents when it comes to utilizing the grenade launcher to its utmost potential and i'd like to introduce some sample builds i actually would recommend for you guys if you actually want to dive right into it and for my recommendation if you actually want to start with things i would recommend using the launcher specialist and grenade master to toss those grenades up in the air try to get some kills with them first just to get a feel on how explosive damage would behave and all if you actually want to move on some tacticality grenade spamming i would recommend using grenade master and opportunist and opportunist is a skill that once you kill someone with explosive damage your actual grenade itself will be restored to the max and also the blast rate would actually increase by a certain percentage for a certain amount of time and this is actually a part when you can actually go a little bit more explosive spammy and I can guarantee you that that build is pretty fun to use and you can actually see people complain that there'll be so freaking much grenades coming at them and oh boy I can say I had so much fun by doing that build and it's so fun seeing people fly with explosives coming all around the world. <laughs> so that actually concludes the guide on how to use a grenade launcher and even grenade himself too and yeah just let me know in the comments down below on how you actually feel using the grenade launchers to see if you like it you hate it or you want some suggestions on how to improve your grenade launcher gameplay and all and yeah i'll probably be concluding this video with some montages that i actually will bring from the actual edit montage i actually did a couple weeks ago and probably some more recent ones to show you guys on this is what would happen once you master use the grenade launchers and even the grenades themselves too and yeah that concludes the video and this is for simaji and i hope you guys have a nice day today